the mastermind tonight. Just talk about the match a little bit. Uh, well, we won, and <laughs> really exciting atmosphere in the Gate Center tonight. Again, the, you know, I talked to the band before the match a little bit and thanked them for their effort. And then, of course, men's volleyball team makes their spectacular entrance. And you know, just the the student athletes, the fans, really, really did a great job for us tonight. Now, the team just came out out of the gate and just looked solid all the way through. Talk about just the philosophy on getting out early and the importance of that. Well, we, we have been, you know, before the match, I just quickly meet with them before we start the actual warm-up, 30, 35-minute warm-up we do. Um, you know, and it's been like, get set one, get set one, don't, you know, and we push the pace in our serve pass. Um, I think this is a team that needs to push the tempo a little bit and, you know, and play with a lot of energy, composed and channeled energy, but energy. Now, North Dakota State came out in the second set and pretty much turned the tables on us a little bit, and then in the third set for well over half really dominated, but then all of a sudden it was like a switch turned on the team. What, was there anything that you did differently uh, to make well, that switch? Well, we started not hitting the ball out so much. That helped a lot because we were, we, you know, and you, you recognize, and North Dakota State is a very, very good team, um, but we recognize we were certainly giving them a lot of help that they didn't need um, by just hitting the ball out of bounds. Um, our ball control slipped just a little bit too, um, that's usually related, but mostly those unforced errors, and some were just not characteristic of what we normally do. So, you know, that was disappointing, but I really liked the way we battled. And you're right, it was, it was set three, I think we were down, and then we were able to come back from that. And another great performance from freshman Emily Spencer. Just talk about the importance of her being able to step in as a freshman and be the kind of leader on the court uh, that Needs. Well, it, it's it's certainly um, maybe she saw the opportunity because when we started preseason with six freshmen and I can't remember I think it was about two thirds of our offense at least total offense gone um, to graduation you know there was a lot of opportunity from re to returning players and freshmen so maybe she saw that opportunity uh, but she's she's a big strong athlete 18 years old or not. That's, that's a big, strong woman. And the thing about her this far into our season, you know, the young season, really, Summit League season, you know, she's learning and she's becoming a more intelligent volleyball player because she certainly has finishing power, but, you know, you have, to have, you have to have some intellect with that and to be able to mix it up. Um, and, and she's doing that for us. And she also passes six rotations for us, so she doesn't get a break. Now, you... Back-to-back -back nights knocked off undefeated teams, the number two preseason pick in the conference, the number one preseason, preseason pick. What kind of confidence does this give the team going forward, especially on such a long trip as Oral Roberts in Southern Utah? Oh, it's huge. It's huge. Of course, playing at home, you, you can't, I don't know if you put a value on, on, on that, because um, you're right, we have a very daunting um, road trip right now, going to Tulsa and then out to Southern Utah. But um, we should be playing good volleyball, and with, you're right, with a lot of confidence because those are two very good teams we just beat this weekend.